Hi, my name is Lisa McDonald. I'm a building principal at Glenvar Elementary School in the Reynolds School District. This is my seventh year as a principal in the district and my 14th year as an educator. I love my work. Today, I'd like to welcome you in journeying through my portfolio review for my Cal experience. Standard One Visionary Leadership is probably one of the greatest foundational efforts that any uh, principal or other leader could work on. This is the idea of having those overarching goals, ideas, and themes that are going to carry throughout your work and your experience as a leader. At the same time I was starting my practicum, I was also beginning a new principalship at Glenfer Elementary School and moving over from Wilkes Elementary School. I knew that I was taking on a large task that continues until today. Prior to the beginning of the school year, I knew that it was going to be very important that I became extremely concrete and balanced in my own beliefs around what I had to offer the building. I started by just taking the time to describe and explain what I felt I had to offer the building by creating a leadership statement, building norms, core beliefs. I feel that it is fair to let people know in advance what your vision is as a leader. Even though these are foundational beliefs and ideals, I continue to grow and reflect on my work and ensure that I am aligning my vision to my new circumstances. These were written prior to the beginning of my principalship, and I would say that the, most of them still hold true today. For my second visionary leadership project, I was part of the facility planning task force. The facility task force had the amazing task of putting together a bond proposal for the entire district. Uh, at the beginning of this task force, I was the principal at Wilkes Elementary School, which uh, it was in, is in great need of remodel. This task force included many evening walkthroughs of buildings, um, an analysis of much data regarding safety, security, uh, health, and learning experiences in all of our different buildings. And I'm happy to say that the conclusion is that a bond was passed and that three new elementary buildings are going to begin being built next year and all 11 schools will have safe and secure vestibules and security upgrades, and we're looking at a high school remodel. This was a really large learning experience for me as it really expanded my leadership into much greater elements beyond my own building. I would have to say that Standard 2 Instructional Improvement is really where my educational heart lies. I've been an instructional leader in the classroom as a teacher, at the building level as both an instructional coach and now a principal, and at the district office level as a K-12 literacy coordinator. I find it truly inspiring to discover the way that children learn best and align practices to ensure that we are offering them the greatest opportunity at success. I also saw the beginning of my principalship at Glenfair as an opportune time to really look at aligning district building and state instructional targets um, and creating some coaching cycles to support the instructional efforts in the building. I knew that alignment and unification in the building was something that was going to help our students reach greater success. 
I began the instructional improvement effort by creating instructional anchor documents that were very specific to Glenfair Elementary School. This took the components uh, that are, were already written out and created for us and just clarified the targets. I described to the staff that the expectation is that these targets were not something that had previously been met or even something that was going to be met really quickly but that it was something that we saw as an eventual goal and we looked at it as a trajectory and that each of us were starting in one element of the trajectory and we weren't going to waste the energy or effort um, in any other direction but that we would start wherever we were at and move forward towards the same aligned goal. In order to differentiate, I created different lanes for professional development opportunities for the staff. So for example, under initial setup, um, we would have lane one for people who are still defining a structure for independent work assessment and power goals, um, where we would be getting people's foundational work in those areas set up. Um, different than lane two for someone who is has already defined the structure and is just working on the implementation of a plan that is already laid out and clear. The document covered literacy, mathematics, I had an opportunity to take management uh, and blend it with some instructional practice as Reynolds School District was redefining their ELD model. Much my, like my philosophy of creating anchor documents so that our instruction was aligned, uh, I really believe that being clear in communicating the expectation is what is most important when managing a new system. Glenn Fair did look at, excuse me, did implement a new model aligned with Reynolds School District, but I needed to make it very individualized and palpable for my staff. This is a one page document, which is just an overall agreement of the, the direction that we're headed in ELD. It talks about the model in general, grade level assignments, gives some schedule hints and tips. Um, but some of the most important work is in at the bottom of the page, the ELD teaching strategies. We have referred to this document several times when talking about how to implement the co-teaching model and where to begin and maybe what the next steps are for our structure. So even though this isn't traditional management uh, where we might be talking about fiscal responsibility or building elements, um, this definitely does meet the criteria of management in designing and changing a system. And I really believe that management has to start with great clarity. Standard for inclusive practice. One of the underlying goals of being the principal at Glenfair Elementary School is to ensure that we have access to all of our stakeholders. We need to recreate our partnerships with families and communities, including community partners. I was lucky enough to be brought into a structure that had already started the beginnings of this work. For my inclusive practice project, I helped facilitate opening Glenfair as an Oregon food bank site. We saw this as an opportunity to bring families in towards the building and just have them join us in the physical location to help meet one of their basic needs. If you click on uh, this link, you're going to see our uh, media coverage of when we first opened our Oregon Food Bank Healthy Options. I really feel like setting this space, dedicating this weekly opportunity for our families to have a need fulfilled from our school is a great first step to inclusive practice. It's got to start by bringing everyone together. 
Standard five, ethical leadership. Though I started with my vision and my intent to be a role model for good ethics, this really requires us to create a lens in the building to ensure that there are ethical practices throughout all of the aspects of what we're providing our community and our students. To ensure that all aspects of the building were being run with uh, equity, I created a building equity team. One of the greatest elements of the equity team was to design practices and interfaces with the community that could give our teachers real hands-on experiences to what it was like to be a student or a community member that was that is a part of Glenfair. Um, this link, if you click on this link, you're going to see uh, media coverage on the homeless shelter that opened up at Glenfair Elementary School. And I would say that one of the greatest accomplishments of um, our equity team's leadership is to ensure that all staff members have had a tour of and have been able to be part of discussions and ask questions about what it's like to live in our community. This is only one aspect of living in our community as of course we have 520 children all that are in different living situations but this is one of the examples that really highlights the fact that our family's experience is not a traditional experience and that we need to be considering what it is like through the lens of our children in order to really reach them and ensure that their health and happiness and safety occurs in the building. So I believe that this is just one example of how we reached out to each corner of our community to ensure that we best understand our students and their needs. Standard 6, Socio-Political Context. So as I was building my practicum and uh, identifying the experiences that I wanted to fit into each of the standards, I realized that it was going to become important that I communicate my intentions and my ideas beyond just the building. I really needed to get the district and the community involved in all of the changes that I was working towards ensuring good partnership and good success for the students at Glenfair. So for my socio-political context project, I implemented a school board presentation where I presented information on the school board that talked about the journey of Glenfair and was truly honest about where we were at and our hopes and dreams in, in aspiring, excuse me, to be a very successful system where children were happy, healthy, safe, and learning in our environment. During this presentation, I highlighted our three goals, which is school culture, every staff member and student contributing to the happiness and success of one another, RTI, every student receiving the instruction that they need, and ELD, which was creating a model where every child receives the instruction they need through the lens of language support. During the school presentation, we also talked about all of the statistics around our poverty, our mobility, our, um, our languages, and how our system was going to address and reach out to families through our diversity. The school board presentation is uh, a nice opportunity to ensure that we are aligned with all of the district initiatives and that we are supported by the district in our foundational efforts. I'm happy to say that this particular school board presentation went very well and um, 
has really been a good starting point for lots of conversations with the leadership in the district. I believe that Glenfair is off to a great start. I'm in my second year and uh, it is efforts such as those explained in this visual that are going to help us reach great heights. I thank you for your time and look forward to hearing about the journeys of the others in the classroom. Thank you again.